Crab Bank is one of five seabird sanctuaries owned and managed by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources to provide critical shorebird nesting habitat for black skimmer, brown pelican, and royal tern. Because of its position in Charleston Harbor and the mouth of Shem Creek, it also provides a unique ecotourism opportunity to allow the birds to be observed at a safe distance from the convenience of a kayak or boat. However, available shorebird nesting habitat has significantly decreased as coastal populations have increased. Originally created in the 1950s from sand dredged from Charleston Harbor, Crab Bank is now a tiny fraction of its original size and all remaining nesting habitat was washed away in 2017 by Hurricane Irma. The restoration of Crab Bank has been a priority to many Lowcountry residents and, in 2011, an opportunity presented itself to restore it. Crab Bank was identified as a potential site for the beneficial use of dredged material from the Charleston Harbor Post-45 Deepening Project. However, federal navigation projects are required to use the least cost alternative for placement of dredged material, which, for Post-45, would be an offshore placement site. For material to be placed on Crab Bank, the project had to be separated from Post 45 and authorized and funded under Section 204 of the Continuing Authorities Program. CAP 204 authorizes the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to cost share in projects that protect, restore, and create habitats in connection with the dredging of federal channels. This must be done with a non-federal sponsor, which is where SCDNR stepped in and led a fundraising effort where numerous residents, students, and companies contributed to the South Carolina Coastal Bird Conservation Fund to make this restoration a reality. Crab Bank is an important nesting site for thousands of declining birds, including brown pelicans, black skimmers, different tern species, American oyster catcher. There are only a few, maybe five to seven sites in South Carolina that provide the right profile for these colonial nesting birds. Unfortunately, Crab Bank has eroded to such an extent it no longer is adequate or provides habitat for nesting birds. So the deepening of the harbor is providing an opportunity for this important nesting site to be rebuilt. The restoration work calls for the one-time placement of 660,000 cubic yards of material from the Charleston Harbor Post 45 Deepening Project. This material will be removed from the federal channel and beneficially reused in a way that will increase the size of Crab Bank by creating 28 acres of nesting habitat for brown pelicans and other seabirds. And once the dredging equipment becomes available later this year in 2021, the restoration work will only take a few months to complete. Shem Creek serves as a cultural and economic asset for the Lowcountry, just as the Crab Bank Seabird Sanctuary serves as critical habitat for shorebirds. As part of the Charleston Harbor Federal Navigation Project, the Shem Creek Channel has performed well since the Corps' last maintenance dredging in 2014. The Charleston District regularly monitors the conditions of Shem Creek and posts depth surveys on our website. If conditions begin to degrade performance in the use of the federal channel, the Corps requests funding for maintenance dredging, which then must be appropriated by Congress. The contract has been awarded and restoration is projected to begin in the fall of 2021 when the dredging company's equipment becomes available. As the construction date approaches, the Corps is collecting additional data for analysis and discussing the construction options with the contractor. This information will determine to what extent additional adjustments to the footprint can be made, if any. In the meantime, the Charleston District and SCDNR will continue to communicate with local leaders in the town of Mount Pleasant. Once completed, the Crab Bank Ecosystem Restoration Project will be a welcomed site for shorebirds and those paddlers and boaters who can enjoy watching shorebirds on Crab Bank from a safe distance once again.